يا عمي على المسجد What he said. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Steele, it's your boy. And uh, today we're doing something a little weird. I'm running a bass through a guitar amp. Don't panic, it's not gonna go boom because these Black Star St. James's are really cool. And I'm joined by Chris Jupiter. Hello. Hello again. And we have the brand new mayonnaise, mayonnaise pedal. How do you pronounce it? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> and uh, it's a boost but we're gonna play around with it and see what it can do on a bass because it's got a really wide um, high pass filter. Yeah. And it's also got the bright boost, which can do something very different. So first, here's my clean tone. And so, boost time. Boost time. We have um, this is a multiple boost and a cue pedal, and we working in the first clip on the high shelf. Like how are the highs? And you hear that with like on the bass, like the clacking, yeah, the yeah. picking, and the you know the finger, the finger noises, yeah, the fret noises, like the stuff that most of the guitarists don't want to hear. But yeah. I like. In modern metal, yes. Yes, like the dangle dangle. Yeah. Okay. The, the black. That really does kind of bring it to life. Yeah. Um, I would leave it on the third setting. I think it's the right frequencies. It's like... Mm. Um, highs and then a bit boost, the higher signal and then more boost and like, you know. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of a higher peak and more boost at the same time. Yeah. Very clever. Because on like some instruments, like a cleaner guitar would like profit from more highs and more boost because it opens up more the sound. Mm. Ah. And on the downside, on the, on, on the, uh, on the button side of the, of the knobs are um, like a pull tag compressor like you cut first boost uh, cut cut uh, first lows yeah and then you boost it afterwards so it doesn't get yes yes you get rid of what you don't want and what you still left you boost mm. I mean as a studio guy the pull techs are famous for that idea for that reason that yeah. the, there's there is actually no such thing as a boost in the pull techs fun, yeah. fun circuit fact yeah it's just cutting yeah. yeah so even when it says boost it's just cutting everything else yeah. And then adding game. It's like reverse. Yeah. yeah. And, and it, it makes so that you don't get a nasty sound. It's super clear. We boost here to 16 dBs with the bass boost. Basically, you make everything heavier, but everything cleaner at the same time. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> It, it seems to be a bit louder, but it's not boosting. It's just cleaning things up in the right way. Yeah, it's coming through. Yeah. 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 Also, using the St. James, I'm currently using channel one, which is very clean to begin with. And I'm, I'm running this Valiant bass, which has active electronics, but, ooh, fade, nice. Has um, all the settings completely just straight, flat. So I'm not adding anything here which means the pedal board then can take a more neutral signal. So it's not kind of getting like bass overload before we begin. No. But on channel two, let's try some gain on here and then see what the, the, the Mayo does. Okay, you play and I go through the settings starting with the highs again.
Oh, it's got a real kick. Yeah, it's the, <clears throat> almost the same setting. Um, it's like you, you die in, in a more way um, that you play and um, how your instruments sound. And then you're just dialing in the highs and find the right highs for the, the amp. Yeah, perfect. I mean, this, this is a relatively low gain amp, the, the St. James, which means it's kind of easy to feed, which is good. But then we've got things behind us like the AD30, which doesn't really do clean. <laughs> No. So the, the, the low cut's very important there. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially on bass, if I was running this in the studio, I would split this and have clean and something like this. Yeah, with that, you can like go into any guitar and because you take first all the dangerous lows out. Yeah, that's it. A lot of people worry about putting bass through a guitar amp because they're like, oh, the lows will damage things. No, no, it's more the speaker that will get damaged because like a green bag, when you play like a five string bass with an Ampeg 300 watt head and then put it in green bags, yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, but this, yeah, like you say, it, it, remo it can remove that ultra low end, so it's not a problem. Sometimes ultra low end is, of course, what you want as, for, as a basis, but mm. sometimes low end is just like, and that's covering everything else in the actually signal and gets like muddy and everything. If you remove that, the rest has more space in front of the amp, mm. you know? Something to consider. So there you go. Uh, the Mayo available now? Depends on when you put the video, but I would say yes or no, and you can cut the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> uh -huh. So, okay. yes, uh, go to the links in the description below to the Jupiter website. There are some retailers that stock them, I think, but it's better to go direct. Yeah, sometimes. If you're in England, go to our retailers. If you are in USA, next by our retailers sure but also we are on reverb and just type in jupiter fx on google and search the way yes. you want jptrfx.com yes thanks everybody for watching thanks to henning for uh, letting us do this stuff thanks chris for coming on the show thanks yeah. for turning, turning off for switching and i'm going back to bed i'm very tired thanks everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye goodbye <laughs>